Thomas, guess what just came in the mail? What, my new Selena Gomez socks? What? No, Destiny. Oh, sorry, I, I don't know what Destiny. What? No, like Destiny. Wait, my Destiny is here? Yes. But, but what is it? Uh, video game? I knew it! My Destiny is to play video games. It's aligned in the stars. What? No, Destiny 2, the, the video game. Wait, playing video games is your Destiny 2? What? No, no! This is a glorious day, my friend. Our destinies are intertwined, Stupid. and together we Just shall the follow the light. Just the, you know what? Here, I'm getting a drink. What is this, Halo? Salutations and welcome to the Toka Show, where because of Destiny 2, I am finding it really hard to accomplish anything. But is it your destiny to play Destiny? The answer is yes. If that's all you wanted to know, you can just turn off this video and go do whatever it is you're about to do. As for the rest of you, let's do this. Destiny 2 is the sequel to Destiny, which was made by the same company who made all of the Halo games. Well, up until Halo 4 at least. Destiny is a first person shooter set in a futuristic world with aliens and stuff. Kinda like Halo, but not really. The story of Destiny 2 is that a huge Death Star called the Traveler came to Earth and gave some select humans light, which are like superpowers and let you keep coming back to life over and over again or something. You know what, I'm just gonna let the game itself do the exposition for me. And for centuries, humanity thrived. Until it didn't. That... That, that, that script writing. That, that's a script. Right there. After we get that backstory from the first game, the first thing that happens in Destiny 2 is that EVERYONE DIES! Yes, the first thing in the game is a siege onto the main hub from the first game, COMPLETELY destroying it. This is really freaking cool. Because in the first game, this was your safe haven. This was where you got all of your missions and bought all of your weapons. Now, it's turned to ash. This really helps set up the main villain. This guy, he likes to be called Dominus. Is that his real name? I don't know. Maybe his real name is Jeff or something. But what I do know is that he is Savage AF. He takes the Traveler hostage and basically destroys your whole civilization. This is the first thing I noticed about Destiny that was different from Destiny 2. The attention to story. The first game had very little story, and that was probably its most criticized feature. But then Destiny 2 comes along and it quite literally kicks you in the face with an awesome setup for a great plot. And this trend continues through the rest of the game, where nearly every quest you go on helps you towards the main goal of getting back the Traveler from Jeff. I mean, Dominus. But where would a good story be without deep and interesting characters to carry it? It wouldn't be anywhere at all. And boy does Destiny have characters. You meet a good handful of characters through the game, and every single one is memorable and well written. Characters like Zavala, Devrim, Hawthorne, Cade Six, and Failsafe. <laughs> oh, Failsafe. How does one describe the indescribable? Failsafe is a computer AI with what can only be described as a split personality disorder. I can help you, but I'm gonna be super unpleasant about it. I'm sorry. What? But she's so charming and hilarious. Missions where I got to hear her talk were always such a delight. There is such an emphasis on comedic writing in this game, not only in Failsafe, but with everyone else, including your ghost. We'll have to find another way up to Hawthorne. There were just too many times this game had me cracking up over its dialogue. The game is visually stunning with its colors, detailed textures, and jaw-dropping atmospheres. It's so easy to get sucked into the world when you see huge rolling waves with thousands of little raindrops attacking the surface, or huge forests of vibrant red trees and moss-covered rock formations, all complemented with brilliant lighting effects. It's truly something to behold, and all of this is accompanied by a soundtrack that personally impressed me 
very much. But this is all just the visuals. How does the game actually play? Well, my dear viewer, it plays as smooth as a criminal. <laughs> The controls are what made me fall in love with the original Destiny. And I know that Destiny wasn't all that great at launch, but when I first started playing, it was around the Taken King DLC. So everything was optimized and fixed. And by the way, if you're still hung up about that, grow up! The mechanics are just so tight. Everything from the shooting to the aiming to the jumping and melee all feels so satisfying. It's something you really have to try for yourself. The actual gameplay of Destiny 2 can be classified as a massively multiplayer online first person shooter with RPG elements or MMO RPG FPS. That's, that's a lot of numbers. At its core, it plays like a first person shooter, but you are constantly gathering loot and new weapons, armor, and upgrades. Everything in Destiny is based on points. Every piece of of armor has a certain protection amount, as well as other additional abilities such as mobility and restoration, and the weapons have damage points, in addition to other stats that you'll want to consider when choosing those weapons. The amount of customization in Destiny 2 is insane. It's one of my favorite aspects of it. In addition to all the things I just talked about, there are dozens of weapons to choose from as well. You can always hold up to three weapons, a main weapon, a secondary weapon, and a super weapon. And with all of these, you also have your choice of many different subclasses classes of weapons, such as auto rifles, shotguns, sidearms, grenade launchers, plasma rifles, sniper rifles, submachine, submachine guns, rocket launchers, and even swords. Yes, swords! This is my absolute favorite addition to the Destiny franchise because who doesn't like swords? How hilarious is it that I'm murdering dudes that have missile launchers and grenades with a sword? That's freaking awesome! And to even further grow the extent to which you can customize your character in Destiny 2, there are three classes as well as three races to choose from. Hunter, Titan, or Warlock. I chose Hunter because... Uh, I don't know. But I'm glad I did because the Hunter gets to be a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Yes, each class gets their own set of abilities to unlock, like double and triple jumping, grenades, and super abilities like the previously mentioned Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ability. While my favorite things about this game are the tight controls and the swords, my third favorite has to be the diverse lineup of enemies. Destiny 2 has so many enemies to fight and none of them are the same. There are five or six entire races of aliens to murder, each race having their own collection of different classes of soldiers and bosses. They are all way more than just reskinnings of the same enemies. You must learn to take different approaches with each race and enemy type. For for example, the Thrall attack in masses of weaker enemies, meaning well-placed explosives can take out hordes of them, while the Cabal may have a more scattered approach of stronger, more brutish enemies, making you have to take them all down one by one, while the Vex all attack in formations, making them require yet another approach. The game is open world in sorts. You have a small collection of very diverse planets to explore and do missions on. Each and every mission is pretty exciting and fun to play. Admittedly, most of them consist of fighting waves of enemies, but they all have different abilities making them feel unique. This along with the diversity of enemies keeps these missions from getting stale. And if they do get stale, there's always the story missions, strikes, which are missions you can play with your friends, or public events. Public events are pretty cool because they happen randomly all over the map and usually consist of large enemies you must destroy with the help of other random players or defending an area. These are everywhere and because of that, I often got caught up in them without even trying. I would be out and about doing my own mission when suddenly I would stumble upon a huge enemy that a handful of other players were trying to destroy and then I'd help them out It's really cool because it makes you feel like you're part of a bigger world with random events happening rather than all just scripted It makes the world feel more alive This is also a lead into what is probably the only complaint I have about destiny 2 the fact that it's always online Because for one you can't play the game when the servers are down for maintenance or something and two You can't pause the game. This one was especially bothersome to me because because I pause games a lot, whether it's to take notes for a video or just go to the bathroom or even just respond to a text. It's nice to be able to pause the game you're playing, but you can't in Destiny 2, so this leads to a lot of problems. Thomas, I made you lunch. Come up and eat it. Sorry, can't. Playing Destiny. Can't pause. Thomas, you're kind of stuck in the garbage disposal again. Sorry, Destiny. Can't pause. Thomas, we're being robbed. Destiny can't pause. Destiny. Dude, I'm playing Destiny. I can't pause. 
the only other form of gameplay out right now is the Crucible, which functions as the game's more traditional multiplayer, with multiple modes to take on other players. Originally, I wasn't going to talk about this much, as I don't ever really play multiplayer in video games, but when I played one of the matches to get some footage, I ended up having a blast. I spent a surprisingly amount of time in the Crucible just fighting other players. It turns out I'm actually really good at Destiny, like super good. Now, you could argue that maybe I've just been playing against crappy players, but I like to believe I'm the best Destiny player in the whole world. That's it, I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to becoming a professional gamer. It's time to start training. And that's Destiny 2. Needless to say, I am having a blast with it. And I've played it pretty much every single day since it came out whether I've had time to or not. It is the smoothest and best controlling first person shooter I have ever played, as well as having the most diverse gameplay thanks to loads of character customization and a huge lineup of different enemies to commit genocide on. If you like first person shooter games, Destiny 2 is definitely the game for you. Heck, even if you don't usually like first person shooter games and this game looks interesting to you, I would say definitely give it a try. You might be surprised. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Please leave in the comments below any other games you might want me to cover in the future. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, The Toka Show, and giving that bell a ding-a-ling so you are notified for whenever my new videos come out, which, by the way, is every Tuesday and Saturday. All right, that's it for today, guys. Peace.